Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Frédéric Bergeron. I'm the Director of Technical Support at Anaxis Security Systems. In today's video, we will show you how to configure a Legend IP camera. This is very important, mainly because these cameras are not initialized by default, so you need to specify the login information that you want to use to connect as an admin to the camera. And this is also a critical step if you want to be able to add our IP cameras to a VMS software such as Archive, which is uh, one of the products that we are selling in our portfolio. For today's uh, instructions uh, and, and for today's video, we will need this equipment. So I have my laptop, I have obviously the PoE camera and a PoE switch. Okay, so in some conditions, you may not have a PoE switch. If you want, we can do another video on how to power the PoE camera from a power supply. But for today, which is the most common case uh, for installers, is to basically start programming the cameras using a, a laptop and PoE switches. Once the camera is powered up, you will want to open the legend tool to detect the camera and find uh, what is the IP address for it. Okay. So in this example, we have the uh, 4K uh, bullet camera from Inaxis, the, the Legend camera from Inaxis, and its IP address is currently 192.168.1.13. So remember by default, the password for the IP camera, and that is also valid for our Legend NVRs, is 123.456. So let's open Firefox. I'm now connected to the IP address of the camera. All right, so it's 192.168.1.13. And the default username is admin. And the password is 123456. When I log in the first time, the system will ask me um, to specify a new password, which needs to be a complex password. All right, so I'm going to enter my password. All right, you need to confirm the password. and login. It will back, go back to the login screen so we can log in with the new password. Now to configure the camera settings, for instance, the Ethernet configuration of the camera, which is now in uh, the HCP mode, but you want to have the camera configured as a static IP address. So you specify the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway, all right? In the case where you will connect the camera to your internet and so as to be used as a standalone camera, um, you will need to make sure you specify the correct gateway to reach your router and the internet, okay? When you're done, you can save the settings. Perfect. Now, what you want to do, um, all right, um, there's the network settings, also the port, which will be 80 by default. This is how to reach um, the uh, camera Ethernet um, connection over a, a browser. Now, the HTTPS port, if you want a secure connection, and if you're using a VMS uh, or a system that requires RTSP, the default port is 554. By default, the Legend camera is uh, configured for the mainstream and the substream in H.264. We strongly recommend using H.265 for bandwidth and storage considerations um, and adjust the frame rate based on the requirements for the site. All right. Typically, we configure the substream as a lower frame rate. For instance, with Archive, we recommend 10 frames per second for the substream uh, and around 10 or 15 frames for the mainstream. You have the option of using variable bitrate or constant bitrate, uh, depending on the environment. All right. Uh, and then you can save to make the changes. So now the camera is going to stream using H.265. And then um, you are ready to configure the, um, <clears throat> you know, the camera uh, with your uh, preferred VMS or to be used as a standalone solution. Thanks for watching this video. At the Nexus, we want to create a big community of installers across the country and around the world. And we'll release a lot more of these videos about our security systems, video surveillance systems, cameras, NVRs, POE switches, you know, and, and all that. So please subscribe and comments below. It will be a pleasure for us and, and, and myself to help you and answer your questions.